Emotional moments this afternoon. Two Burnsville police officers killed in the line of duty Sunday morning are being honored. In the last couple of hours, a procession with their bodies from the medical examiner's office to a funeral home in Jordan. Law enforcement from across the state showing up to pay tribute to these men. Two police officers and one firefighter paramedic killed while responding to an extremely dangerous domestic situation early Sunday. They are officers Matthew Ruge, Paul Elmstrand in the middle, and firefighter paramedic Adam Finseth. There has been an outpouring of support for public safety departments in Burnsville, as well as the families of these heroes. Thank you for joining us on Fox 9 and on Fox Local. I'm Amy Hockert. And I'm Kelsey Carlson. That procession happening in just the last couple of hours. Incredible scenes of support along the way. Fox 9's Karen Scullin is live for us in Jordan tonight at that funeral home where those heroes were taken today. Karen, clearly just such an emotional day. It really was unbelievably emotional as that procession came into downtown Jordan and those hearses, one still here, arrived at the funeral home. Ahead of that, a small crowd had gathered here on the corner waiting to show support and pay their respects to these fallen heroes. But as those hearses arrived, it was very touching, carrying the bodies of Officer Ruge and Elmstrand. It got incredibly quiet among the crowd here. The mood sunk to a point where people were wiping away tears as the body arrived to the funeral home. The families of the fallen, along with the Burnsville police officers, waited for the caskets to be removed and brought inside the funeral home. Just a very, very heavy, heartbreaking moment in time. Watching those families and the officers grieve the loss, but those who didn't know the men were also very touched by the deaths of them. Before the procession arrived, we spoke to a few people here about why they thought it was important to be present. I just just had to be here. Um, I made it yesterday to for the uh, paramedic, and um, it just hurts. It hurts a lot. I think it's important that we show support for the family and that and, and for for all the police departments, fire departments, and and that just to, to be present. I mean, there isn't a lot we can do, but we can we can show that we care. Once the media cycle ends, these things don't go away for those families. So it's also important to continue that support for those affected. Um, you know, in the following weeks and years, and you know, like I said, it just doesn't end when the news cycle ends either. Now, the bodies of the officers, Officers Elmstrand and Ruge, are here, of course, joining firefighter paramedic Adam Finseth, all three now here at the Ballard Sunder Funeral Home in Jordan. No formal funeral arrangements have been announced as of yet, but no doubt we'll get that information in the coming days. But really, just this amount of support statewide has been incredible and certainly no different today here in Jordan. We're live in Jordan. Karen Scullin, Fox 9. All right, Karen.